A platoon of pests are declaring war on Metro Atlanta lawns. The fall army worm is not new to Georgia, but experts say this year's outbreak is one of the worst in decades. CBS 46's Zach Summers is live in Atlanta with what experts say you should do if you find those pesky creatures in your yard. Yeah, you know, good evening. This is a perfect example of what a fall army worm infestation can do to someone's yard. The homeowner's green grass gone completely, but we swing over here to her neighbor's yard, virtually untouched. I thought I had done something wrong. I, I thought it was something I had done. Tina Young used to have luscious green grass in her front yard. That is until she noticed a brigade of caterpillars devouring it. And there were tens of thousands of them. Little did Tina know the insects were fall army worms that enjoy chomping away at Bermuda grass. Entomologists say the insects, which eventually turn into moths, are especially bad this year. This year we've got significant numbers. I mean, what they would call uh, outbreak numbers as far north as Ohio and Illinois and Maryland. Dr. Will Hudson, an entomologist at UGA, says fall armyworms show up in large numbers in late summer and early fall, plowing through people's yards. The insects travel through air currents and have a life cycle of about 28 days. They do the most damage when they're caterpillars. There's been speculation that, that uh, the warmer winters have allowed them to start north earlier. Could be. Uh, there's speculation that uh, the weather was just right. Uh, that could be too. While the damage the pests cause might be aesthetically unpleasing, Dr. Hudson says they don't eat the roots of the grass. They don't eat the roots. They don't kill the grass. If it's healthy otherwise, um, a little bit of water and fertilizer will bring it right back. That is a relief because I thought, you know, if I have to replace all this again, it would be such a hassle. Now, farmers use insecticide to prevent fall armyworms from destroying their crops. One of the first signs of a possible infestation are birds congregating in your yard. The pests don't like zosia grass, and they develop a lot slower once we start to see cooler temperatures like we're expecting later this week. Live in Atlanta, Zach Summers, CBS 46 News.